guys! Today we're heading off to Eastport and I'm really excited. It's the first time in a while we've been outside of our town we live in overnight. <laughs> we haven't done an overnight trip since we moved up here, which was about two years ago, and it's well overdue. So, um, I'm excited. Very excited. So, I found out how I can use my camera, and that gives me an opportunity to take longer clips. Because I don't have to worry about taking up too much space on my phone. The only downside is the quality kind of fluctuates depending on the light. If it's really good lighting, I can use my camera, like outside, and I have a few um, vloggy bits already filmed of my pets, <laughs> sorry, but um, low light situations are uh, better for the phone. Because like even here with the light is probably a bit fuzzy. I can't tell until I upload this onto the computer, but I'm excited just at the opportunity to like use this outside and use my camera again. So yeah.
intended to read my driver's manual or the Gravity Falls book that I brought along with me, but instead we got to the hotel and I may have been on the internet for a while. And yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Laying here, kind of de-stressing from the drive up here. And I'm... It's always when I'm kind of tired and wonky that I get either the best ideas or the weirdest ideas. And this one's like... I'm scrolling through YouTube and see the creepypastas and I'm like... I know people like to narrate creepy pastas, but I wonder if anyone's ever thought of like narrating their own stories on there. I know like Creeps McPasta mentioned writing his own stories and wanting to narrate them. But I mean like maybe not just scary stories like their own fictional tales and stuff. I wonder if anyone's ever thought to do that. Proudly. But, you know, that'd be interesting. Read fantasy stories. Romantic stories, if you like that. Obviously, by face I just made, I'm not the biggest fan. Um, Supernatural, that's not just horror-based. Like, I'm thinking stuff like Mercy Thompson. Just don't read the book. Like, something like that, you know. You do stuff like that. But yeah. Um, I'll stop with the rambliness. Cause I, I, I should probably just get back to getting ready for bed. <laughs> the people here in Eastport seem pretty nice. The lady who owns the inn we're staying at made chocolate cake and I gotta have some. And... This other lady offered to give me a coupon for cocktails, and I know that's not a big thing, and I don't drink, so I was like, no thank you, but, you know, it, it's kind of nice, like, oh, you're sharing, thank you, and yes, this, I'm tired, I need to, I need to get to bed, wow. Good morning, guys. I'm in the bathroom at the inn because that's the place with the best lighting and um, the hair situation's kind I don't know if it looks bad on camera, but um, it's kind of tragic. I did try, but um, what really saved it was the fact that I had um, bobby pins and a hair tie in my purse. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna have to go about my day and, um, live with <laughs> it. I tried. I tried so hard. Today is kind of like already a weird day. Woke up tired because I couldn't sleep well and yeah, it's just Weird, weird, weird. We're gonna go walk around Eastport once things open, and it's gonna be fun. The best way to cover lack of sleep is with sunglasses.
back from Eastport and my hair's officially given up and I think I'm just about ready to like go to bed. <laughs> so um I I don't know what's after this. If there's a film after this it says it's the end, it's the end. If not you know more than I do at this point. I'm exhausted. It's the next morning. Um, I did, in fact, fall asleep for at least two hours yesterday after filming that clip. Then I woke up and edited the vlog. And um, I'm actually pretty proud of it. I know it's not like as amazing as some people who do this for a living. Um, vlogs can be but considering my inexperience and my limited equipment, I think it, I did pretty good and I'm excited. Um, what else? Oh, I found out I can use my grandma's camera too. Hers naturally has a wider landscape feature than mine because her camera is a lot newer than the one I'm using is. I think the one I'm using is at least eight years old because my grandma got that one when we came to Maine on vacation while I still lived in Colorado. So um, it, it's an old one. It's still a good camera but um, obviously by today's cameras it's not quite up to stuff but I have to use my app. But um, I thought it did pretty good. It let me get more clips than I could have gotten. I won't have to worry about my phone battery, so I was like, yay! I'm, I'm hoping I can do more vlogs like the sun in the future, but um, we'll have to see. And um, past me was correct. This is the end of the vlog since this one has become its own vlog and isn't part of the one I was editing before this one. That's just the random everyday aspects of life that can go over quite a few weeks because I don't have very many big things that need to be done but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you in the next one bye